Hello, and welcome to another episode of Paul Plays Infinifactory. So as you may be able to see from the surroundings, we're in a slightly different place. I'm not going to spoil too much of it for you, I hope. Um, although, probably you can see from what's happening here, we've moved on. We're now doing this set of levels, and we're in what's called the Resistance Campaign. So, Teleporter Experiment 1, create new solution. Lovely. Okay, so this is the target. It's a three block welded together and this is the teleporter now not only will it teleport blocks but it teleports us to, to the different part of the level which is only accessible by going through the teleporter and here is the source so let's um do this and let's see i've got to remap my key so bear with me a second um on this level yeah, each time you progress to we're not a new level up the, the, the kind of campaign i think um i like pushers on four i've got my own little system i've been playing with since i started so i'm not going to mess with it now that was on five they were on three i believe two that was on nine area select which i should use more but i don't and finally the most basic of all blocks the conveyor on so and then I'm going to put a riser here. Have I put that in the right place? No, I haven't. Okay, as we can see, that's kind of working. It's not amazingly efficient. It drops up and when the blocks... So any block which gets put into one of these squares gets removed, like de-welded from the structure it's attached to and sent through. And we can have a look on the other side. And they're just falling out underneath here. So let's do a... Let's do a welder. Put it back together again. And run like that and there we go so um nothing too hard just introducing this new block and perhaps let me just press shift i can't press shift when it's running let's just run this out and be done with it okay so a block score of 24 so, um, yes, this is the other new block. It's an upside down conveyor. So it's useful really in conjunction with lifters when you're pushing things up, or I suppose even on the ground too, um, a block below it that's touching it will get pushed along with it. But mainly I presume used when you're lifting things up in the air and pushing it against the ceiling. So, um, given this would be a very short and probably very boring episode, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to once again talk about... Um, I'm just going to hit, hit fast forward and just look at the score here. Um, again, I've w watched a couple of YouTubers, watching a couple of Twitchers play this, and there, there does seem to be a kind of misunderstanding about the scoring, if you can call it, or, or, or the bigger game, opposed to just uh, beating the puzzles. Um, there are three different scores, and to be honest, I mean, I'm not saying it's absolutely impossible, but um, it would be extremely unlikely that the same solution, a solution that is good for cycle score, would be good for block score, or vice versa. So there is like a, a solution which sort of does the puzzle in the most obvious or immediate way possible or whatever and then you can look at doing things now i'm going to show you quickly then on this one how we can reduce the block score what what are the two techniques that are mainly used for reducing block scores so the first is that obviously you can if you're pushing something of length three you do not need all the blocks in place you can get away with that so let me just run that again and that's immediately and that's taken seven off our block score and reduced it to 17 can we do better i'm pretty sure we can 
So if we look through here, we can do the same thing. However, to get the most extreme block block score, what you do is you very rarely use conveyors. You use just normal blocks instead and rely on the units moving themselves being generated to push through. And obviously they can't do that through a right angle. You're going to have to have a conveyor there. But in certain circumstances, this will work. Now, it's going to be terrible for your cycle score because, you you know, to every three you need to move along, a new one of these has to spawn. But it'll do your block score the world of good. So I'll run that again and have a look. There we go. As you can see, it's not terribly efficient. It's not going to, not going to win any medals in cycle score, but in terms of block score, we're down to nine. Can we do better? I'm sure we can. So again, um, we do need a conveyor here to whisk them on, otherwise they will just pile up if, the, if this isn't a conveyor. And I believe we need a conveyor here to take them off the thing. Otherwise, they just produce an infinite length of welded um, red square. However, the rest of it, not so much. So again, fast forward there. And again, it's terribly inefficient in terms of cycles because we're waiting all this time. But in terms of blocks... So again, this is a simple puzzle, but and there we go. That's down to five now, just off the end of of that bar there. Is it possible to do it with four? I mean, there was a couple of levels where it seemed to miscount as well. So if I just count them, what I what I would consider, I'll do a quick play again here. Here we obviously have one, two, three, four. We have two conveyors and two welders there. That would be four by my count. And one block there, five. No, I agree with it's five. So is there any way of getting rid of any of these? Mm, he needs to lift up. As I said, can't we can't weld them with just a single welder. That's not possible. And I believe I need both these conveyors. If that was a if that was just a normal platform, they would just pile up. And if that was a normal platform, they would continue on. So I think five is about as good as you can do. Possibly someone can do better. Um, I'd be amazed. But if you do know how to, leave a comment. So, um, that's the end of this episode. Let me just come back to the... Now the barracks. Um, and have a look. Um, we've... Get this teleporter block, which is where you can't place. It's just in the level. Um, used as part of the puzzle. And this inverter conveyor, which is the upside down conveyor. And we had a quick look at these solutions. That's why I presume they gave us three different. So you can have your best cycle solution, your best footprint solution, and your best block solution, which, like I was saying, will very, very rarely, if not ever, be the same um, the same actual solution. They may be for the simplest of puzzles. So it doesn't really make sense then to take that solution there and say, you know, can we do better on cycles? You could do an awful lot better on cycles, but you wouldn't use all those uh, platforms in it. Um, and I'm not sure what you can do with footprint on that level. It, it's pretty much straight. I'm not sure how people manage to wander off here. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please drop a like on it. Consider subscribing to my channel. It's only new, I know. Um, and thanks again for watching. Bye now.